Tourism Revenue and Customs, HMRC, has announced that a record-breaking 11.5 million people have submitted their self-assessment tax returns on time. However, it estimates that some 1.1 million people missed the January 31st deadline for 2022-23 returns. This means those people could now face an initial £100 penalty followed by further potential charges, as well as an initial £100 penalty. The penalties for filing a tax return late include, after three months, additional daily penalties of £10 per day, up to a maximum of £900. After six months there is a further penalty of 5% of the tax due or £300, whichever is higher, and after 12 months there is another penalty of 5% or a £300 charge, whichever is more. Some 11,581,962 returns were received before Wednesday's deadline, however, HMRC is urging those who have missed the deadline to file their returns now. HMRC figures show that among those who beat the deadline, 32,958 people filed their returns between 11 p.m. and 11. 59 p.m. on January 31, Myrtle Lloyd, HMRC's Director General for Customer Services, said, anyone who has yet to file and is concerned that they cannot pay in full may be able to spread the cost of what they owe with a payment plan. Search Pay Your Self-Assessment on gov.uk to find out more. Taxpayers who file or pay late but have a reasonable excuse can appeal against penalties on gov.uk. Who might need to complete a self-assessment for 2022-23? Taxpayers may need to complete a tax return if they are newly self-employed and have earned more than £1,000 have multiple sources of income have received any untaxed income, for example earning money for creating online content earn more than £100,000 a year earn income from property they own and rent out are a new partner in a business partnership are claiming child benefit and they or their partner have an income above £50,000 receive interest from banks and building societies, more than £10,000, receive dividends in excess of £10,000 need to pay capital gains tax are self-employed and earn less than £1,000 but wish to pay class 2 NICs voluntarily to protect their entitlement to state pension and certain benefits the online checking tool can also be used by those who may no longer need to do self-assessment including if they gave up work or retired are no longer self-employed earn below the minimum income thresholds get the latest record money news join the conversation on our money saving scotland facebook group for energy and money saving tips the latest benefits news consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. If taxpayers no longer think they need to complete a self-assessment tax return for the 2022-2023 tax year, they should tell HMRC before the deadline on January 31 to avoid any penalties. Tax customers also need to be aware of the risk of falling victim to scams, especially as the self-assessment deadline draws nearer, and should never share their HMRC login details with anyone including a tax agent, if they have one. HMRC Scams Advice is available on Gov. UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.